New game. Are you sure? Hopefully, yeah. I wonder if we have checkpoints for a short game. Yes. Yo, Squee43, thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, would you mama? You circumflex? Uh, you circumflex? Did I break the game you circumflex? You circumflex? You circumflex? You circumflex? One of Jackson's you circumflex? favorite. You circumflex? This looks pretty you good. Circumflex? You 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 circumflex? Getting your ass handed to you by Margaret because you circumflex? Technically below level, but at least you can get to him. Second phase. All right, on. Cool, cool. You circumflex? Everybody starts around like fifty percent. You circumflex? You circumflex? Got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. You circumflex? 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 We can turn off VHS effect. You circumflex? You circumflex? I feel like this VHS effect isn't quite as you circumflex is as obnoxious as some of the other games. You circumflex? You circumflex? I'll keep it on unless you guys want me to turn it off. Doesn't matter. You circumflex? You circumflex? You circumflex? It's our only setting. That's at a volume. Oh, that volume's on max. You circumflex? Good luck, thank you. You circumflex? Can we do? Can we jump? Can we crouch? We can crouch. You circumflex? Crouch. You circumflex? You circumflex? This way up. You circumflex? You circumflex? You circumflex? You circumflex? Light switches. You circumflex? You circumflex? Light switches one word. I thought they were two words. You circumflex? You circumflex? Light switches can be turned on and off. Use the darkness to evade any threats. You circumflex. Jesus Christ! However, too many light switches on at one time may trigger a powerful power cut. God, it's freaking phasmophobic. Okay, sure. The timing of that was like right at the end of the the TTS. I was like, what are the odds? Oh, this game's gonna scare the hell out of me. What do we got? Can we grab this? Flashlight. F for flashlight. Oh, I see that back there. Move wall. My diary. Lore. October 28th, 1980. I found a hole in my closet today. It's smelly and old, but I, can, I feel safe in here. Like, nothing bad can happen to me in here. This is my own secret. I told Dad he would just cover it up and say it's dangerous or something. Eric was outside my window last night asking to come in and play, but when I asked Mom, she looked so scared and called Dad. When I told Eric he couldn't come in, he got so angry and walked away. Well, it's a long one. I've got the whole diary. I started of noise. November 29th, 1980. I went to the hospital, to hospital today. <laughs> the doctor said I should try writing in this journal to help them understand me. I don't want to, but my mom's making me. This feels stupid and so pointless. They were talking a lot, but I was listening until my mom started crying. I'm so used to her crying now, and Eric says she hates me. He's probably right. Everyone does. Big Sedge. Hmm. Next. So I think this is... Well, what was the last one? November, right? Are we going backwards, then? So I would remember first, or... The doctor gave me some pills to take. They make me so tired, I'm always asleep now. I fell asleep in class, and everyone made fun of me. Something inside me wants to stop talking. Taking these pills... Ah, is that so loud? Taking these pills, but the doctor said it'll make me better. I took, some, I took some more tonight and waited for Eric outside my window like every night, but he never showed up. I was so sad, and I feel like everyone I know hates me. I woke up this morning and saw Eric outside again. I was so happy. I talked to him for a while, and he asked to come in. As I went to the front door, my mom shouted at me. I explained, but she was so mad. She kept saying Eric can never come in again. I think Eric overheard us talking because I heard him shouting outside. He seems really mad, and I hope he still likes me. I drew some more pictures of me and Eric. Maybe I'll give them to him tomorrow. I did some coloring today for Mom. She put them in the, on the fridge. She was so happy until I asked if Eric could come over for supper. As he was outside, she looked so scared and gave me so many pills. I felt so sick and I threw up later. Eric must have left again because I didn't see him all night after that. I'm guessing Eric, we're going to see Eric. Is Eric going to be the antagonist? Oh my god, we're killing my flashlight. Hold up. I'm going to play Splatoon earlier, but but game might be so broken. Might be broken. Crap, did I just like, waste my entire flashlight? Is that Eric? 
Eric. It's pretty tall. Looks like we cannot move the wall back. Jam. I've got some bad news. I, my flashlight's been draining this whole time. It's behind my webcam. About to get killed? Hold on. The signs of Eric? The do list. Pick up Christopher from Doctors. Pick up Christopher's. How do you say that word? Repapapazal pills. <laughs> Groceries. See mother on the 6th, 10 p.m. Talk to in-laws about funeral arrangements. Christopher's play date, 15th. Meet at play center. Oh, I guess the music's playing because we have no more lights. Power outage. Let's learn the layout. So this, what is this? Toilet? Sink? Whatever it is, we're walking into it. We restarted. Okay, we can crouch. We can't jump. We can sprint. That's it for the upstairs. Can't put a little crawl space wall back or secret wall. Looks like we're going downstairs. What was this again? Closet. Storage closet. Just loop this around there. Where's the, where's the, oh, there's the stairs. Where's the stairwell? No handrail. OSHA violation. What we got here? Newspaper. Man found dead by 13-year-old boy. On October 31st, an unnamed child found his father hanging in their family home after a supposed divorce between the parents. This has been the 12th suicide this year relating to spouse-related issues. Police aren't suspecting foul play. In the neighboring town of Maston, three teenagers and one police officer, M. Andrews, were found brutally murdered in the Miller and Son slaughterhouse. It's still unclear what happened within this abandoned slaughterhouse, but officials say it is, may, has made all officers and EMTs who arrived at the scene resign, being too gruesome to describe. These officials are now seeking psychiatric therapy. An article. The Greenfield Raiders scored 24 points last night against the Knoxville Bandits, helping boost them to the top of the major league for this Sunday's game. The league has reportedly been canceled for this evening due to severe weather warnings issued by the Greenfield Weather, Anal Greenfield weather Analysis. Severe flooding and thunderstorms are apparent and could cause major power outages. Hey there, Spooky Rose at Slaughterhouse, how on the nose? Exit. Music changing. So my flashlight is currently at 21%, so I had it running. Now it's at 20 doesn't auto recharge, which makes sense. Mm. So that's the basement. All the shiny objects, holy cow. Chores list. Chores to complete. Clean up dirt on the floor. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Food into dog bowl. Take your pills. <laughs> Does it say note from something? Note from mom. Some real ominous looking right out there. Dear Christopher, I left a list of chores for you to complete whilst we're away tonight. If you have any problems, give Nana a call. Please don't forget your pills. If anyone comes to the door or window tonight, please go to your closet and lock the door. Sus. If the power goes out, the fuse box is in the basement. I love you so much, Christopher. Just know Papa is watching down on you. We're so proud of his little boy. Love, Mom. Aw. Hey there, baby koala. I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Do the dishes, sure. 
I, mean, I should look around the house some more first. Before we do all my chores. What do we got here? Chinese takeout containers? What am I looking at? French fries? Cola? Pizza? Cold pizza? Build dog bowl. Sure, let's do it. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Feeding the dog. We haven't seen the dog. That's a little worrisome already. So this is a door to the outside world. I feel like I should restart because my flashlight. I guess we'll see. Light switch. Bone off the receiver. Hmm. I want to look around the house some more. Why are things a mess? Why is there a photo of Eric on the floor? Why is Eric here? What the hell is this? The dog. Doge. No TV. I'm sus already. I'm assuming this is supposed to be 1980, though. I can afford more than one set, maybe. So there's the basement. What's the store? Garage. And this game seems to have like all these retro style games, super duper loud volumes. Just a heads up. They want to lower your volume for this game. For this stream. 18% battery life. To the basement. Wait, wait, where are our chores again? We got it. You can have dirt on the floor and take our pills. We didn't do the laundry though, did we? We did the dishes with the dog. It says we did the laundry. What the hell? Up here. Hey, Kane, what's up? Clean up dirt, the floor didn't go away. What the heck? Oh, there's more dirt. Let's go to the basement. Hello there. An ominous basement. Hello. Hell, why is the basement a maze? A labyrinth. What the fudge? What? My flash is gonna run out. Keep dying going next. Okay. Do you? Oh shit! My flash is freaking. Ah! Oh, I didn't get a chance to read that, Sedge. I can't reread it. Rip. Maybe I should restart. Should I restart? We didn't really do anything. <laughs> I read some files. It's about to die. The game has the explanation of phasmophobia like, and if you have too many light switches on, you'll blow a fuse. So the power box will blow up. Take your pills, clean up dirt on the floor. Door to the outside, kitchen as garage. Crouch. Some dirt. I think we're supposed to be what? It's a, I think a seven year old boy or something? Naturally, our parents left us alone. I don't think my parents would have left me alone at seven. This was... Ah, the laundry. Fold laundry. That was not there before, was it? We're being responsible. What I assume to be my parents' room. Wow, there is dirt. Why is this place so dirty? What is this? What the hell is going on in this house? More dirt. I am very sus. Oh, there's... It's leading back to here. This dirt was not here when we started either. It's where the game starts, which I assume is our bedroom. Something that sounds means powers out. Clean up dirt! Thank you for the lurk, King. Cleaning. We're in our diary. I think we could probably die in this sequence. I give us the ominous music.
flash that has 3% battery life. Watching TV? Big TV watchers. Clean up dirt, take your pills. Going balls to the wall, running. I recall closing that door previously. Toggle power. It doesn't sound like there's somebody breathing in game. The music. Just a random two liter cola bottle lying around. Completely normal. We have two doors to the outside that we can't use. So kill the lights. I'm killing the lights just to see what happens for uh not blow up the fuse box. I'm sure it's all scripted. Paid actors. Pills are actually at. I'm guessing we can't take the pills probably until we do all the dirt. Probably scripted payback. Oh, so that did nothing. So it seems like the power just goes out when it wants to. Hence the music. Take your pills. Hmm. We got all the dirt. I really wish I read the instructions here for this thing. Alas, I clicked off too quick. I think on the Steam description for this game, it does tout multiple endings, so... Not sure what influences those yet, but I'm sure we got a bad one. PT style? Uh, it's more or, like, more or less uh, described as a PS1 style by an indie, indie dev. Just um, home invasion. Very home invasion. I think there's more than meets the eye, though. So if you were pills, where would you be? I would Again? I was in the bathroom. Secret hiding place. Again, yeah, if this is our only bathroom, what is that? Is that a bidet? A toilet? A sink? Yeah, so, so far, just loud music equals power box has gone out. Doesn't last very long. No clue what these pills are. Look for mom. Her name is Christopher, apparently. Seems like our father is dead. Take your pills. Pills any pills. Is there a door? There's a 
are the only options. F for flashlight, left control for crouch. Our bedroom. Did read through the whole diary. Talking about somebody named Eric, possibly an imaginary friend, possibly the monster, possibly both. That's being prescribed pills. Hmm. I have no clue what these pills are. I'm a huge fan again, just one click. Can we just fall down? We can. There's a newspaper here. Look at that. Going off the hook, going off the receiver. This seems like a little living room area. I assume the the pills would be lit up, have a bright indicator like everything else that you can interact with thus far. That's sort of a light switch. See, these things are all lit up. Hook from mom, chores list. Garage. Good door mysteriously closing on its own. Closing on its own. Pills? I don't think I would need a light switch on to see the pills, would I? Maybe that door I just heard. Pretty sure I heard a door again. Is the one in the basement? do list. Hmm. Where we don't have an inventory or anything like that. We are just. We are who we are. A young boy. Oh, what a unique outside world we live in. I don't know. If I were the pills, I'd either be in the kitchen or a bathroom. We should restart. Hmm. I can see my flashlight is now fully dead and we haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Might be a good indicator. Flashlight does nothing. Did we like turn on the switch? Honestly, again, I didn't get to read the power box, so maybe I should just restart. I might. Because maybe the power box said something, and I don't know what, the, what it said on there. Yeah. Oh, I can't even leave. Rip. <laughs> I can't even escape the game. Alt F4, I guess. There's no quit to menu. 
Let's let's do a restart. It's a sh it's a short game supposedly, so I feel like I should be making progress at this point, or at least dying. Take two, take two. Bug house, bug hoose. Plays Christopher, a kid left home alone with a terrifying stalker on the loose. Try and survive in this '80s PS1 inspired home invasion survival horror game, or die trying. Take two. I feel like I was just missing the pills, not seeing them, but not really sure. Hey, Asian Sensation. Good evening. New game. Are you sure? Yes. <clears throat> so it looks like we wake up, we get out of bed. How to bed? The lights are on. Nobody's home, literally. Let's do what I did earlier. Got ourselves a flashlight. A little cubby, crawl space. The diary. Just say they got the pills in here. I mean, it talks about the pills. It doesn't say what the pills would be, though. Light switches can be turned it off. Use the darkness to evade any threats. However, too many light switches on at once time, on at one time, may trigger a power cut. You know, it's just killing it's getting killed anyways. But like phasmophobia rules. Oh, it was excellent, Asian sensation. A lot of fun. Thank you. How was yours? I'm look, looking forward to this upcoming weekend for me because I'll be leaving the country for a few days. Well, like a, I call it a vacation. Up to Canada. Good old Canada. I go. It's the closet. So now we head downstairs. Way too loud. Way too dank. Man found dead by a 13-year-old boy. I read this earlier. Note from Mom. Dear Christopher... Do your chores. If anything happens, call Nana. No Papa is watching down on you. Is Papa the antagonist? Chores list. That's where there's no exit on that one. November 1980. Two dishes. <laughs> that pizza looks very flat. That's paper thin crust. Kill dog bowl. For some reason the dog is not around. That's, that's me. I'm kind of worried. Clean up dirt. And I'm not sure where this dirt spawned in from. Imaginary super friends. You guys can't see it, but behind my cam, behind my giant head, is a flashlight percentage. Juice. Power. So let's go just take a look at what it says. Oh my god. My ears! My ears. So far we've learned when this music starts playing. There's no power in the house. Fuse box. Okay, I didn't read this before. The power is turned off by storms and other forces. Other. Your sanity will drain rapidly until the power is enabled. All the electrical equipment will be disabled. Okay, so it's nothing really. Sanity, though. I didn't see anything about sanity. Also, thus far, it seems like it's been a crock. I heard that door again. So, was that the door? Let's see. Yeah, so that door is closing on its own by unknown forces. Chores 
list. Take your pills, clean up dirt on the floor. Clean up dirt. Scrub, scrub. Get up dirt. Get up dirt. Despite the power going out, we can still do our chores. Pull up the dirt. Fold laundry. The fold laundry was already closed off though again on the list. I wonder if this must be bugged. Pun intended. So again, by the green, I assume it means it's done. We definitely did the dishes, just did the laundry, dog food, clean up dirt. There might be more dirt, but. Uh, what's the dog bowl goal? Dog bowl goal? Weird. Slightly odd. I feel like just throwing on the light switches on because they seem to remember their position in the game. So far, it seems like it is just on a timer, or if we go upstairs, that the power goes up. But I might be wrong. Maybe we may just kill it here. Throw them all on. <laughs> a pizza on the floor. Here comes the pizza. If anybody sees my pills, let me know. Everything else has a bright indicator on it, but. There it goes. So maybe, maybe the lights did kill it. Kill it all. Hey, where's the music? Some weird lighting there. Ominous. Right, let's turn off the switches then. Game did say supposedly moving in the dark is better, but you see no antagonist yet. All the basement lights are are off. Got the pizza on the floor. It's passed after the five past the five second rule. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> Floor pizza. Floor pepperoni pizza. No, thank you. I cannot use the phone. What the world are these pills? By now, I feel like just looking outside should have triggered something, maybe, or... Maybe I'm missing a spot of dirt. You know, the game says it's all done. Our bedroom. Very confused. So we're back basically where I was. Supposedly just having to do the pills. Parents' bedroom. Mom's bedroom, I guess. What am 
I not doing? What am I not finding? Let's go back to our little crawl space. A diary. Doctor gave me some pills. I'll sleep in his classroom and made fun of me. Odd lighting. Yeah, I don't know where these pills are in question or what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Pills. If anybody notices anything, let me know. Why do I keep hearing a random door close? We're open. Here's paper. Telephone. I'm calling the living room or the den, I guess. That weird noise. Eric, Eric. You lost power? Oh, yeah, power. Still. The controls are basic. Left control to crouch, F for flashlight, shift to run. To, I like to advance here. <laughs> That's the sound for the power going out again, I believe. It doesn't mean anything about progress. Let's just keep running down here like a bajillion times and then we're able to take the pills for some reason and they show up. I don't know. It's kind of odd though. Big if true. Your pills. I would if I had them. <laughs> I saw these pills. The door cannot be touched. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a sink. I never noticed a sink here. Oh, there they were the whole time. Okay, I was blind. They weren't shiny either. Take pills. Boy, I did not notice that sink. Even with the, I don't think I ever turned the lights on in there. So that's the toilet. That's the bidet. There we go. Pills acquired. Pills get. Finally. Oh, that took so long. That <laughs> took like 30 minutes trying to find the pills. They were not shiny. Chores to complete. We did our chores. Mission accomplished. Bloody note! Hi, Christopher! It's Eric! I see no one's home tonight. Please, can you let me in? Your mom won't know I came in. We can play some games like hide and seek. I know how much you like hiding in your bedroom closet at night. Maybe you could start there. The lights go off, you have 30 seconds, and then I'll come get- and then I'll come in. Get ready. Don't let me catch you. Hide! Holy shit! Okay, 
I close that? Hold up. Is it bad that I didn't close any of the doors, chat? <laughs> How long do we stay here for? Safe? Question mark. Stay safe. Sure. I don't believe it for one second. Do we have? <laughs> we have working with. See in the house of Did you see him? Did you see? Him? Holy shit! He's here. <laughs> yep. GG. He's not even looking at us. That game over. Control. We don't have our flashlights like we're in other worlds. Silent Hill. Chained up door. It's like our house, but altered, inverted. Oh, shit. Diary number one. How dare she take my only fucking child? I'm so sorry, Christopher. I'll do everything to get you back to your father. That fucking bitch. While I'm stuck here, rotting in this tiny apartment, he's out being some slut using my alimony and house to fuck whoever she wants. She'll pay. Oh, she'll pay. I had just the plan to really get to her for life. It involves a chain at her garage. I know she's out all night, so I'll sneak in and give her the biggest surprise of all. My fucking dead hanging body. See you in hell, bitch. Holy shit. What the <laughs> Right, Rose? Let's escalate it quickly. I'm gonna go towards the crying. Crash. I thought it was this way. Might be upstairs. What's going on in the basement? Nothing at all. I hear the, the hanging body above us. The hanging man. Uh-oh. Smile. bedroom would be? The bathroom? <laughs> Guess we're going in. <laughs> Diary number two. <laughs> Mom's diary. I can't take this anymore. 
It feels like this whole house is cursed. Like it's slowly eating at me. I feel like I'm dying inside. Nothing feels right anymore. Christopher's constant crying and whining about Eric, my husband's attitude, and always starting unnecessary arguments. Just yesterday, he pulled a knife out on me. With this crazed look yelling about finally ending it all. I just took Christopher and ran to mom's. God, why did I marry him? I've decided a divorce is the only thing left for us. This relationship has gone on for far too long, James. This needs to end now. Otherwise, I don't think I'll survive any longer. I'm crying every night now. Only the wine is calming my nerves. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school. I can feel the other moms at Christopher's school staring at me every day. This house is cursed. Exit. Hello there. Hello. Where to now? I should have looked up what those pills are. I didn't even know how to pronounce the pills. If they're actually prescribed for IRL. I forget the name now. Shades of Silent Hill for the room. Number three, Christopher's diary. Eric has started to act really strange. He's been telling me to do things which I don't want to do. He said I had to kill a cat, otherwise mom would be hurt. I didn't do it, but mom seems upset now. Did I do something wrong? Maybe Eric was right. Last night we had a pizza party with dad and mom. It was so fun dancing and eating pizza all night long. We got tired though and started to draw Eric, draw Eric who was watching us play and dance all night long. Mom saw me drawing and looked scared. I said he was outside, but she didn't believe me. Dad got Dad got really mad, so I ran and hid in my secret room. He never found me. Mom said I need to go for a checkup today, but I don't feel sick. Eric said it was a trick, but I don't believe him. I'm starting to see him a lot more now, which I don't mind. He's always so funny and kind to me. Not to my mom or dad, though. Stairs of the basement, I wonder. <laughs> oh shit, pill containers. Diary number four, bathroom. Dr. Schultz, Edward's report. Christopher's mother has brought in Christopher today for a well being checkup. At first glance, he appeared normal, however, with a glazed fixed stare outside the window. This seemed normal at first, although when he mentioned he could see someone smiling outside the window, I became suspicious, as we were on the sixth floor after all. After analyzing Christopher for most ailments of his age, I believe PTSD and or psychoactive disassociative disorder fits the closest. However, this is rare in someone his age and has no real treatment apart from a constant dose of sedation. I need to delve deeper into this young boy. He seems as if he is at a breaking point. Note. Christopher has a possible alternate personality called Eric. Extreme caution must be taken when evaluating Christopher due to the sensitive nature of this condition. No relapse at this moment in time. Citation and x-ray analysis needed. Hmm. door. Like 
back downstairs we go. I don't think any of the chains have been reduced. Is it basement time? Hamburger time? Aha. Diary number five. Eric's diary. Thank you, Christopher. Really, you've allowed me to become free. You're exactly where I've been these past years, waiting and waiting and waiting for you to let me free. Now it's time for Eric to become in control for a while. All those doctors were wrong, Christopher. They just wanted to hurt you and take you away from me. But you listened to my commands. Those pills hurt me and helped me from take and helped me from take control much sooner. I can't wait for you to see what we have become together. I know this is confusing, Christopher. I wish I could explain better, so instead, allow me to take control even more. Allow me to commit my final act. Christopher, allow myself inside you. Running, running. I'm not sure where we're running to, but I'm running. chains on it, but I couldn't open it? Weird. The dirt. This newspaper. Ten-year-old anniversary of murder. This very day marks the tenth anniversary of the horrific Moore's residence murder. The bloody crime scene was acted out by the once 13-year-old Christopher Moore, who was reportedly in a psychi psychi psychotic episode. He is now spending his life in the local Greenfield State Institution for the Insane. Otherwise referred to locals as the Bug House of Greenfield, due to its holding of the most criminally dangerous and insane. Neighbors called police when sounds of screaming came from the residence, which turned out to be Christopher stabbing his own mother over 73 times. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Christopher's defense was that he was suffering from multiple personality disorder, a new disorder discovered by Dr. Schultz Edwards in 1983. The jury plead insanity, and he was spared the death penalty. Hey, K9 Orc. I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? Christopher, who is now 23 years old, is still being held in the bug house of Greenfield. Christopher still, still claims to this day that Eric killed his mother, not him. There you go. It only took me 84 years to find the pills. Interesting. GG. This is something about multiple endings, so I wonder my only guess is, is maybe in those sequences where we're getting chased, we can maybe do something else or hide somewhere else. Instead of me getting caught. I think it only happened twice. I think with so many of these like scary games or horror games, I feel like a lot of them follow the same trope. Psychiatric, psychiatric episodes, pills, so on and so forth. Still a good game though, I thought. For a short game. For a small little indie game. A game called Bug House. I'm sure people were expecting to see bugs. Bugs around a house. No, that's not the case. Show me store page, please. I'm not really sure. Let's see where else we could go or what we can do different hey angelic what's up most of the work thinking of the word mental illness 10 stealth mechanics terrifying guy multiple endings supposedly how many how many are multiple lots of hidden secrets replayability i didn't see anything what the hell am i looking at it's gut blood, blood, blood gore suicide and psyche psychological torture Community hub. Don't warn me again. 
Guides? Nothing. Discussions? Add achievements. Anyway, to talk to the developer. Itch version. Speed run. Host your gameplays here. I'll load it one more time. Oh, you think the door may have been opening on that second time around? Hmm. Probably won't make it, but what the hell. I'll give it a shot. Maybe like juking around, running away, and then trying to juke upstairs long enough to get through that front door. Move wall. Yeah, so this sink was here the whole time. I was just blind to see it. The pills are not there yet, so they definitely are stripped. Like, the laundry's not there. So on and so forth. Maybe thunder? Don't actually know what we have to do to trigger price to read this. No? I think I actually have to flip through all the pages. I'll turn off the VHS effect this time around. Clean it up. We're just waiting for a blackout power outage. Imagine getting out would be like not letting your illness take control. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting take or interpretation. Can I make that happen? Is the bigger question, I guess. Tell me dropping the ball. Actually coming? What the hell? There's no timer. Now there is. Interesting. Okay, so this is different. Why? Is it because we're on a second playthrough? Is it bugged? Is it intended? It saved us doing the chores. The chores were all green. That was odd. Very odd. For everyone suffering points, and I was not letting your mental health issues take control. Easier said than done. And especially if for a young boy, mostly like who we are in this game. So, like this sequence here, I don't know what the story is. We're hiding in a little crawl space in the closet. What happened before as I left, we ended up getting grabbed, and then we go to the other world. I'm calling it the other world, like Silent Hill. So I don't know if we can do something different now or find something else. Possibly go use the phone? The phone's off the receiver, off the hook. A little trusty flashlight. Gotta hate, hate crouch walking. When you gotta do it, you gotta do it, I guess, but this is this is the speed of crouch walking. Way too quick. <laughs> There's no way I tried to run. I mean, there still might be some. We could obviously have gone anywhere else to hide there, too. We didn't, I just went to the crawl space. You have 30 seconds. Maybe 
Hearing that doing something else would pay off or help out. Hmm. Oh, there's our. Which way am I going? Which way is the train going? Now we grab notes, right? Oh, that's right. We gotta go to the garage first. Act alert. <laughs> Upstairs. Sound traveling through the walls. We gotta come up with a plan here. Good luck. I guess this, is, this might be the way. <laughs> Choked on some water. Uh oh. I feel better. I feel better soon. There's really not much else going on here. So we're gonna get chased. I might just die again. It's a very short game, which is just. Cue the music. Keep it music. Okay, so you're right, there's just the light coming out of the door. Oh shit, baby comes with Oh shit. Ending. Didn't say bad ending before. What the hell was that about? We didn't get any ending, did we? Do we get any other exposition here? Yes, we do. Dear Mom, that night changed me forever. I'll never go back to the way I was before. I now understand that Eric wasn't real. After all these years, finally coming to realize that I had another personality... Personality was tough to process. Doctors say that Dad's suicide had created some sort of coping mechanism inside my brain. Eric was that coping mechanism. I'll never be the same, but I'll make damn sure Eric never comes back. Edge. After all, I have a kid on the way now, Mom. Wow, we're old. We're old. I say I think we did say something about being twenty-three. be more, but we did it. We saw two endings. I was actually waiting for a debate there and that to be like be another twist that's really not good. <laughs> Seemed good to me. Looks good to me. See Buscemi meme. Looks fine to me. Is this DVD and other stuff? 
Excellent. Hey, Dots, welcome back. Thank you for the raid once again. I'm going to queue up another game that's not really a horror, even though it has the horror tag for some reason. It's a game I played previously, and now it's the full release. Well, part one of the full release. Purchased. That's Bug House. This was $1.99, I think. Short, but I think it was well worth it. It actually had, had some good moments in it. 